Good everyone. I'm John Garlock. We begin tonight with a follow-up to last evening's stabbing in Kirksville. At around 6.40 p.m., a man was found in the front yard of his apartment at 1010 Kings Road. He was suffering from a stab wound and had collapsed onto the ground. Police say the victim is 24-year-old Timothy Claiborne of Kirksville. He is the older brother of the suspect who was taken into custody shortly after the incident. The suspect was released from custody this afternoon, and so far no formal charges have been filed. Kirksville Police Chief Jim Hughes says it's still an active, ongoing investigation. It's not unusual in these kinds of circumstances for witness statements not to line up exactly. Uh, and in fact, in some instances, we worry uh, if they're exactly alike. Uh, but that is one of the things that, that we're looking at. But uh, certainly, um, you know, there was at the time and, and I think even today, clearly probable cause, um, you know, to determine that certain types of crimes had occurred. Uh, it's just we want to make sure that we have everything nailed down uh, as best we can before we decide exactly what charges need to be filed. A spokeswoman from Northeast Regional Medical Center told KTBO the stabbing victim, Timothy Claiborne, has been treated and released from the hospital. Adair County Prosecutor Matt Wilson also reiterated that the investigation into Tuesday evening's stabbing incident is continuing. He says he's waiting on Kirksville police investigators to provide him with pieces of evidence, statements, and word that they believe that they have probable cause against the suspect. In a Skype interview from his vacation destination this afternoon, Wilson told KTBO he does anticipate charges being filed in this case at some point, possibly against multiple people, but just not yet. The police department and I have, have visited and in talking with the detectives who are working this case, we feel at this point it's, it's best that we allow this individual go, um, that we, we pr proceed to continuing the investigation and, and finding more evidence and, and more just answers as to what really went on before we formally charge anybody. Wilson says it is the responsibility of him and police to make sure they have enough evidence to prove a suspect guilty beyond a reasonable doubt.